Stephen Hawking thinks we're playing a dangerous game by trying to contact aliens. The physicist believes that if aliens discovered Earth, they are likely to want to conquer and colonize our planet. If aliens visit us, the outcome could be much like when Columbus landed in America, which didn't turn out well for the Native Americans, he said in a recent interview. But co-founder and former director of the SETI Institute, Jill Tarter, doesn't think this will be the case. Stephen Hawking thinks we're playing a dangerous game by trying to contact aliens. The physicist believes that if aliens discovered Earth, they are likely to want to conquer and colonize our planet. If aliens visit us, the outcome could be much like when Columbus landed in America, which didn't turn out well for the Native Americans, he said in a recent interview. But co-founder and former director of the SETI Institute, Jill Tarter, doesn't think this will be the case. The pressure of long-term survival of limiting population, I think requires that the evolutionary trends that ratcheted up our intelligence, continues to evolve into something that's cooperative and take on global scale problems. She claims that humans have become kinder as civilization has evolved, with the taste for warfare declining. The same, she said, may be true of other advanced civilizations. The latest data collected by NASA and other space agencies suggests there could be as many as 40 billion potentially habitable planets in our galaxy. Unlike Hawking, many say we should not fear contact with an alien race, and in fact, failing to make contact could in itself prove to be a huge mistake. Proponents of SETI, Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, have said we should consider active SETI, sending out messages, rather than just listening, in the hope someone is out there. Dr. Seth Shostak, director of SETI, argues that any aliens capable of interstellar travel would be at least several centuries more advanced than us. They would almost certainly have already spotted the human race through leaking early TV transmissions and radar signals, so there is no point hiding the Earth from them now. We have already yelled you who, said Dr. Shostak in an earlier interview. What we want to do is follow up with something with a little more substance. It may be that the ETS have been waiting for Earth to call them under the rules of contact between galactic civilizations, he added. Maybe the galactic value system says it should be the civilization that has the most to gain that should make contact, said Dr. Shostak. The biggest downside of not doing active SETI is we may forego an opportunity for contact. We shouldn't hope for alien salvation, but we should hope for an expansion of our perspective. It's sometimes easier to imagine bad outcomes from actions than the possibility of bad outcomes from inaction.